little bit noisy because we are on the sea and we are at one of my favorite places to go doing one of my favorite things to do is have coffee with a friend. Hi so, Teresa. That's proof I have a friend here I'm not alone. Okay. <laughs> so sometimes people don't want to be on the camera and that's okay. You know you can't force your friends to be on your video <laughs> but you can make them hold the camera. So Angela and I have been reading this study here and it is really really good. This week we were looking at um, God and his omniscience, omniscience, omnipotence. I cannot even say half of the words right. And that's okay because God knows what I'm talking about. So sometimes, you know, we try our best, but it's not always the greatest. <laughs> Thank God, though, that he is the greatest. So what we have here in our study this week, we're talking about the person of Jesus Christ. And I said... Wow, that's a great spot to read from. So today's reading is coming from um, Philippians 2.6. Wow, you're saying, we talked about Philippians this week. That's pretty amazing. Well, it didn't come from this book. So I'm going to read one of the questions on here, and then I'm going to read the scripture. And then um, I've got three questions, so I'm just going to go through them really quick. And then we'll talk a little bit, okay? All right, Jesus Christ came into the world in human flesh. He voluntarily set aside the independent use of his divine attributes and took on the form of a man. He was fully human and fully man in every way, except that he was without sin. Oh, wait a minute, because man's not without sin, is he? Because Adam and Eve. Yeah, thanks, guys. Well... So he was out without sin, and this is referred to as incarnation. That's I-N-C-A-R-N-A-T-I-O-N. And you can look that one up yourself, okay? Check out what it really means. But basically it means that he was without sin. All right, so what does Philippians 2, 6 say about Jesus before he became a man? Um, it actually says, although he existed in the form of God, he did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped. So even though he was God, he didn't see himself as, as, as equal to God the Father. That's basically what that's saying. So, um, I also looked up Matthew eleven twenty nine, and I don't have my Bible with me today to read it to you, but look up eleven twenty nine because it tells us that um, Jesus was gentle, lowly, and humble. Okay, those are three things that he is that we want to attain. We want to be gentle with other people. We want to be lowly, as in, not like, oh, woe is me, I'm the bottom of the totem pole. But we want to be thinking of somebody else above ourselves. Okay? And then we want to be humble in when somebody says, what a great video, Teresa! say oh no 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 it's just the thing I'm doing all right that's that's my humbleness I haven't had anybody say what a great video but I did give somebody joy because it was in a comment and that made me really happy so according to Philippians 2 7 what did Jesus do he emptied himself taking the form of a bond servant and being made in the likeness of man so basically he became man walking the earth. Of course, he was still all God, but he was only acting and behaving in the form of man until the point where he was, I like to think of it as he was released on us, <laughs> as the rest of the humans walking around, his, the Holy Spirit started working through him more, which was he was working through him, because obviously, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, so when he emptied himself of, be, of um, being high and lifted up, he walked like a man in humbleness. That was, that was what the 2-7 was talking about. And that's what else we need to look at, is if God can walk with man and be humble, then why not us? And Jesus was fully human. Um, 
describe Jesus' human growth and development as a youth. And that's, you want to look up Luke 2, 40 and 52. You can probably read through in between there too. It would be a pretty good idea. Um, so it says here that he grew and became strong and increased in wisdom. You know, we all kind of know that song. And Jesus grew and Jesus grew in wisdom, in wisdom with God and man. See, I am not a singer. I am humble in that. <laughs> so, um, so Jesus the person, if we start out, we know that he was God. We know that he put, sort of put aside his godliness in order to be a, a humble human. And he was all human and he was all God. So, um, I'm not going to go on to the rest of these things, but I'm going to gloss over them a little bit. When Jesus was tired, he slept. When he was hungry, he ate. When he was weary, um, after a long journey, he rested. And when Jesus rested, it wasn't the same as like us. It was like, okay, he sat down and rested, but his mouth still moved. I mean, you can look up the um, the woman at the well. He sat down while they went to look for stuff. And he was going to get a drink of water because he was thirsty. But he knew that that Samaritan woman was going to walk up. And he knew he was going to do a work in her life in the entire town they were in. So his rest is not the same as our rest. So that's something to think about. And we know in John 11, 35, that when Jesus was grieved, he wept. Now, when he wept there, it was over humanity. Because he was like, how long, how long are these people not going to realize what I can do for them if they only allow me to? And in our lives, God is probably sometimes weeping over us because he gives us things to do, like wonderful Bible studies. And if you want to look this one up, I'll leave the link at the bottom of this day's thing. So, get into the Word. That's one thing we know God wants to do. Let's try not to cause the Holy Spirit to weep. Let's not grieve the Holy Spirit. Let's not grieve God. Let's instead get focused in the Word and do His will. Heavenly Father, I ask today that you would just help us all to dig more into your word as this month goes out and the new year comes in. Let us be full up on your word, that we can be full of encouragement. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.